Every point has how many data? Every one of those points has how many? How m what kind of data does it have? What kind of data does it have? Well, what the kind of numbers? How many numbers do you need? These points here. Mm -hmm. How many data does it have? So it has two, right? What this this axis is one, right? Mm -hmm. This axis is one, right? Mm -hmm. And then you got another one, other data point. Red. Yeah, exactly. So you need three. Okay. Kay. So let's generate some data. We can call it x1, x2, and then y. Mm -hmm. do, s the, do the parameters here. So, so the given parameters here. What you do is, is you assume that. Um, Easiest way to assume um, k means is, is uh, you got some means, right? Okay. So uh, let's call one we call the red ones, right? And two we call the white uh, blue ones, okay? Red and blue. Well, if y is one, right, you're gonna be a red, and if y is two, you're gonna be a blue. Okay, like one and two. Yeah, exactly. So so now we're gonna do some parameters, right? So we need means, means for the red and means for the blue. Mean one, mean two. Yeah, so it's better to put them under, like in in, in column, in like under each other. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you look at the, if you look at the, the table, what do you think? Uh, like look at the look back in the PDF. So if if what reds were one, right? Mm -hmm. So what is the mean for the reds? Zero point three. This is between zero and five. Yeah, three. Okay, and three is what? Which what's the mean for what? X one. Okay, and then. And this X one. Right? Yeah, and then you need one more. So minus three for X two. Mm -hmm. And then for the two. For the blue ones. So it's minus three in the X one and three in the or no, maybe one or two. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you need four parameters. Okay. Okay. So let's let's put them up. Mean one, X one, okay. X two. Something like that, yeah. I mean this like the way the notation is you're gonna have a mean one one and a mean one two and a mean two one and a mean two two, but that's gonna just kill you. So Make like a little bit of a better notation, right? So mean one, next one, I guess that's what I mean. But you have to say mean one. Next one? Yeah, you could do that, yeah. Does it have it red and blue or zero one? Mm, no, red because red. you gotta have to like read on, yeah. And then we're gonna assume that the standard deviation <coughs> is all the same. So we're just gonna in our all dimensions in, in all dimensions. So just put the standard deviation there and call it like at here or something. No, at, at the bottom, just say standard deviation. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So now let's fill out the values here. Okay. Okay. So for red x1 was zero point. Uh, Three or something. Mm -hmm. X one, no. X two for red is like minus three. Mm -hmm. And for blue, X one is minus two. Minus two, I think. Yeah, minus two. Mm -hmm. This was like one. Mm -hmm. And what's the division? One. And then you need one more parameter, which is um, 
the proportion of um, the proportion of reds and blues. Okay. That they call the pi or something. Blue is more. There's more blue or it's more. I think it's like 50 50. 50. Mm. Yeah, but I think they call it the pi. One of these things here. Mm. Mm. The alpha. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So 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 let's um let's generate some random numbers before x one and x two. Three columns. So you need just insert like three columns before A. From A to C select A to C and insert three columns. You gotta flip the coin three times. You first have to flip the coin to figure out whether you're gonna have a. So you can call this round one. And round two. And round three. So if you you because it's it's normal it's normally distributed right. So so the way you can do it is is you flip first you flip the coin to say whether you're gonna have a next one or red or blue right. Then the second time you flip the coin is is um, is uh, what's gonna be your x one, and the third time you flip the coin is what's gonna be your x two. Okay. Okay. So you can say rand in there for all, for all of these three equals rand. Okay. And then drag drag it to the right and drag it down. How many? And then I'll copy it and then paste special so that it doesn't change all the time. This changes the formulas to their values. Mm -hmm. Right, so now it's here. Otherwise, it recalculates the random all the time. Okay, so now what is x1? First of all, let's do y. Y is very simple to do. So y is basically if rand one is bigger than alpha, it's a one, and if it's less than alpha, it's a two. Equals if mm -hmm. if if x one something. No, the brand one. So you're oh throwing so a coin. If it's so you're throwing the first coin. Red or blue? Yep. If it's bigger than... The alpha? <coughs> so then later on we can change it. After step 4. You can change the alpha and then you're gonna have more blues or less blues. Okay? You can say 1, 2. Comma 1, comma 2. What do you mean? Change the blue. Okay, so. Yeah, and I'll drag it down. Which one? The Y. This thing? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just click on it. If you were to move it to the. If you move the Y column before the axis, which makes sense too, actually. Here. Take, take F, yeah, take F. Okay. Now take it from the side, from the border. Hold down Shift. Move it to the left. Yeah, and now you can double click on it on the side. And the corner there. Okay, so you got a bunch of twos and a bunch of ones. If you change this to like 0 0.2, you'll see you're gonna have a, a different proportion of the red and blues. Did anything happen? Changed to 0 0.9. You see everybody go, goes to 2. Okay. And that's how many are blue and how many are red. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now x1 depends on whether you are blue or red, right? So, 
that depends on the why.